Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Zapier to connect uh, Slack with Basecamp. So, if you don't know, Slack is a uh, messaging software I've been using uh, on on my team, uh, both the team for my small business, Redefine Horizons, and my team at at my day job at BKF Engineers. Um, the re basically, the reason I started using Slack is I'm I'm trying to cut way back on the amount of email that I have to deal with. Uh, email is a huge chore for me. I'm sure like many of you, uh, you drown in email. So I don't know, I get somewhere between 100 and 300 email messages a day. Um, so Slack has cut that way back, maybe in half. And uh, basically what I'm trying to do is, is have all internal communications run through Slack and then only use email for external communications with business partners or clients or agencies. And so that's what I'm, I'm encouraging my team to do. So what I want to do is I want to um, make sure that the messages that go to my channels in Slack for projects also show up on the message board in Basecamp. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So over here we have, uh, I'm signed into the Basecamp team for my side hustle, Redefine Horizons. And uh, you can see I've got these three projects here. And uh, this is the new project I created in the last video. So this is a, some pro bono or volunteer work I do on a control network here in the Central Valley. And I went ahead and added a project number there uh, because it's going to make it a little easier in Slack. So uh, in order to do this, you need two things. You need your uh, project set up in uh, Basecamp, and you also need uh, your channel in Slack, which I don't have yet. So let's go ahead and add that channel. Uh, Slack doesn't like real long channel names, so that's why I gave this a that's why I gave this a number, a job number. So uh, this will be the channel now for this job. So I'm going to pull Slack back over here to my other monitor. So Zapier is a, a cool little uh, web service that lets you connect online apps, and so I've signed into my account here for Redefine Horizons, and you can see I've done this twice. Uh, once you you've done it once, it's really easy to just copy it. Copy your, uh, this is what they call a zap, uh, but I don't want to do that. I'm gonna, I want to walk you guys all the way through the process, but I just point out that it's really easy to change that. And you do actually need a separate zap, um, which is a which is an automated trigger. They call them zaps. Uh, you need a separate zap for every channel that you want to uh, connect between Slack and Basecamp, uh, which is not a huge deal once you have this set up. They're easy to copy. So what I want to do is I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to make a new zap. Okay, and so what I want to do is I want to say, uh, I want to pick Slack as my trigger app. So that goes first. So when something happens in Slack, I want to do something in Basecamp. So when something happens in Slack, I want to do something in Basecamp. What's the trigger in Slack when someone posts a message to a channel? Okay, so it's going to say, all right, hey, that's cool. What Slack account? And then it, it wants to know what channel. So we're going to grab that channel that I made for that project. I don't want bot messages. That's the default. So we're going to say go ahead and continue. And it gives you this opportunity to test this. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so now we're, now we're going to go ahead and click. Uh, when this trigger happens in Slack, we want to do something in Basecamp. That's our... Uh, uh, receiving app, the app that receives the action. So I'm going to click Basecamp 3 there. And what do I want to do? I want to create a message. So we're going to go ahead and continue. It's going to say, hey, which Basecamp account? This one. And you only have to set this up once. So the, the first time you guys do this, it's going to prompt you to sign into both your Slack and your Basecamp. I've already done that. So it's just popping up in my list. Um, and it says, okay, what account do you want? I want to use Redefine Horizons. What project do you want? I'm going to use this particular Basecamp project because I'm trying to match this up with the same Slack channel. Uh, the subject, it wants to know, hey, what's your subject? I'm just going to put in here a message from Slack because you don't really get subjects in Slack. And then the content, we want to go ahead and pick the message content. So the text is what we want. And we're going to continue. And we'll say test and continue. And we're going to turn the zap on. All right, 
and then we can say go to my zaps. You can see it's here, it's on, right here, sorry. Uh, we, we need to name it. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm saying, whoop, let's go back. Rename. So this is, um, I want to name them consistently, Slack channel. So I'm going to say Slack channel 001 100 to Basecamp message board. I'm going to save that. And I just I want to name these consistently so I, I know what they are. So for example, when a project closes in Basecamp, I'll come in and I'll either turn off or delete this app. So now we're going to just test this in Slack. Um, so let's do that. So I'm just going to say this is a test. We want to see if Zapier is sending these messages on Slack to the Basecamp project message board. Okay, so there's the message in Slack. So let's come over to Basecamp and we'll see if it landed. And here it is. So the zap's working. Uh, I'm going to just <laughs> delete these. I don't need them. We're just doing a test there. Uh, so Zapier is really cool, guys. Uh, you can use Zapier to, uh, to do all kinds of stuff. Now, I will note, this can get a little tedious. Um, you do have to create one of these apps for every job. Uh, it's not a huge deal. It only takes about 60 seconds once you copy these. You have your first zap set up and you copy it. I will uh, point out that I do not have messages that are posted on the message board in Slack going, sorry, I do not have messages that are posted to the message board in Basecamp going back to Slack. Uh, these zaps only work one way. You would have to do a, a zap the other way to get that done. I'm not going to do that here because I'm, I'm using Slack primarily as the, uh, as the messaging tool for my team. So I'm not super worried about not having the I, you know, I do I do come in here occasionally and post status updates to the message board. Uh, those don't usually go to Slack, uh, but I'm okay with, with those not being copied to Slack because if I'm getting everything from Slack here plus the messages that are entered directly into Basecamp, then Basecamp kind of serves as the um, comprehensive or all-inclusive uh, communications record for the project other than external emails. Okay, so uh, that's uh, what I wanted to show you guys. I hope the video... Uh, helps. Hopefully it helps somebody out there on the internet try to do the same thing. And uh, maybe it taught you a little bit about uh, Zapier and Basecamp and Slack. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.